What's going on today, bud? Um, the chicks are hatching. One's hatching. Is Bubba not eating him today? One hatched. Daddy, one's hatched. Daddy, one's hatched. That's one. Oh, oh one. yeah. They're hatching. Let's get back under there. <laughs> Just one? Just that one. That's your first Sussex. Yep. First Sussex, Sussex born on the farm. You have to tell Aunt Susie. Are there other ones under there? So these are my Sussex uh, eggs oh, my that I wanted to hatch. So I put them under some bloody hens so that they would hatch and I would have more Sussex. Ever since my rooster died, now I now I might have some more roosters and maybe I can bring them to the fair if they're in really good shape. Why do you want to bring chickens to the fair? I just want to show all of them. What is it? A baby donkey. <laughs> Not babies anymore. mentioned in past videos the reason we're raising the scobies they're supposed to help with fly control and I don't know if I've caught one on camera yet but these little guys are tearing up the flies they are going crazy for them in addition to flies you still get eggs and if you wanted to do meat from the males you could also do meat uh, but we really primarily got ours just because you got chicken poo okay no 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 let's clean you up come on let's clean you up all right, let's just wash off the chicken poo. Here, we got a hose, we got a hose. All right, let's go outside, let's wash off chicken poo. He does not like chicken poo on him. So we bought some tethers. Tethers? Tethers from Tractor Supplies. And we got on Craigslist some goat collars. And then we took the whatever. Tether, tether. We took the tether and we clipped it onto the goat collars. So they can be outside without getting into anything and without running away. Actually grandma gave us those goat collars. Grandma Aunt. Yeah. Thanks for the collars, Grandma Aunt. Oh, you got some goat berries. There's some harvesting goat berries. <laughs> and this now is just sniffing what he's gonna eat. Okay, first off, yes, I'm on my computer while my wife is weed whacking. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of flack in the comments below. But my wife likes weed whacking, and uh, she wants to get it done, and I got computer work to do. So, you know, it's 2018, guys. The wife wants to weed whack, and the husband wants to work on the computer. You know, that's what I'm saying. The other thing, you can see how quickly she weed whacked that section. You can see how slowly the goats are consuming the weed. If you wanna do lawn maintenance, get your weed whacker out and do lawn maintenance. If you want to, you know, work while you're working, stack functions, do the homestead thing, sure. That's what this is for, you know. We'll see. Today, they're getting used to being on it. I hope they get more comfortable and they speed up. Gizmo is doing a lot better than Lacey. 
we'll see. We'll keep an eye on things. Cheating goat here. This is my pile of weeds. She should be getting her own pile of weeds. But you know what? It's 2018. If the goat wants to eat my pile of weeds, I should be okay with that. Stefan. Oh, it's funny. Cheater! It's just a cheater. It's your own weed. Well, I hate to say it, but in like two hours, the goats. I mean, they had a couple weeds. That was goat. Did a little bit. Over in the right hand corner, we have Team K who, with the power tools, I mean, yeah. Well, there you have it. Go get a lawnmower and a weed whacker. No need to own goats. What was I thinking? Gizmo's being lazy. She likes to go to the already cut pile. So far, there's been two successful chicks with their hatchet, with the hatching. Hatching. <laughs> So that's the one. See, one over there. See? That one. Oh, look at that cute little chick. Yeah. It's, it was born before the other one, it looks like. So, what I like to do, I like to get the chicks used to me as possibly as I can so when they grow up, they're already used to me and they're not scared. was like right above us. We heard the, we saw the lightning and then like yeah. shook the house. Whew, impressive. What are we doing, bud? Checking on our chicks. There's that water. There's the muddy puddle. That flooding we had, they haven't seen that much water in like decades here. Uh, so it's not an emergency to take care of, but here we are. This has been such a wet year and here we are again. I mean, yeah, we kind of messed up the big puddle. Hey everybody. Well, that one's 
giraffes became more fluffy. <laughs> oh. One more. One more here? Looks like maybe more there. Betty always has to be some oh, Betty, come on. Be reasonable. They're huge, Betty. They don't need you anymore. Oh, um, One hatching. Look at those three. See, one hatching. Oh, another hatching. There. Look at the one face. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of your chickens. Here they come. And look at this one. You're a great grandfather now. Yeah, <laughs> to my chickens. Yep. Great grandpa. You tell us about that hen. Tell us the story there. My first chickens are those ones. This was actual. That one was the second batch of. So there was like. Um, I don't really remember. So you got your first batch of Americanas. Yep. Which were like all like the colorful ones. Right, guys. Hold on one second, I gotta make it. They can see me. Hi guys, today ate the new chickens are on here. Yeah. They arrived and we're going to pick some up. Huh. So let's get started. And then they had eggs and we hatched them out of the incubator yep. and that was one of this one. Yeah. It's been a long time in coming, but what is this here, buddy? Um, an egg carton. Yes, it's an egg carton. But are these, what are these? Eggs. You're first, right? So this week, we found the first egg, and throughout the course of a week, how many do you have now? A dozen. A full dozen. I wanted to have some more Sussex, so we put them under some of these Brody hens, and all of the, we candled them a couple of days, we candled them a couple of days before this, and we saw a lot of chicks. The air sac in the veins, and you can sometimes even see like the chick moving in the egg. So yeah. this was your 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 first chickens, right? Yeah. You were you're their their chicken daddy. <laughs> then that would be your chicken grandchild. Yeah. Now these new eggs are your great grandchildren. Yeah. Great grand chicken. Great grand chicken. <laughs> so do you like being a great grandpa? Yeah. It's so yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And to be so young. Babies have a baby. Yeah. The new chickens are on here. Yeah. So are you excited, buddy? Are you what are you looking forward to most? Hatching. What? Hatching them? Alright, so you guys will get to follow as we hatch the eggs out this fall and uh, watch my son's flock grow. You catch bluebird? Yep, since the time we've ever caught her. She's a real catcher. She's only been caught 10 times. This is a So not too long ago, my aunt gave me some suspect chickens. Sussex. Sussex. <laughs> There's some suspect chickens around here. Mm. That. <laughs> 
uh, not too long ago was give me some suspect chickens. Sussex. Sussex chickens. Little crabs in the air, and this is like some teensy teensy um, crack right there. <laughs> <laughs> so these so anything else to say? What's your what's your egg company name? You remember? Bluebird Egg Bluebird Egg Company. The Bluebird Egg Company.